Hello, my name is Tony Perryman. I'm the National Educator for Goldwell and KMS UK. I'm here today with Your Hair magazine and with our lovely art team that are representing Goldwell and KMS California. Beth came into the salon today and we cut a couple of inches off her length. We disconnected the layers to give her more volume and texture and softened her fringe. With Beth's colour, uh, she's got beautiful natural wavy curly hair anyway. Her natural colour is a dark blonde and she didn't want the commitment of a permanent colour. So we've used a demi colorance colour and we've used the Triflective Naturals which is just a very golden natural colour and it's just given multi-reflections through her hair. We've used a diffusion technique through the mid lengths and towards the ends using a blonde, blonde and cream ash uh, to lift up one and a half to two shades lighter on those ends to give like a really beautiful sun-kissed look and overall it works beautifully with her curls as it's, as it's been dressed. We curled with the side and irons and pin curled it and loosely took the curls out and shook them out just to give you this nice sort of bouncy look. With Louise's style today, we didn't take too much length off because she wanted to grow it, so I've cut it into more of a solid bob shape. Also, her hair's quite fine, so I've given her a few more layers just to help give her a little bit more body and volume. And also, I've thickened up her fringe just to give her more of a bowl shape, just to accentuate her eyes. With Louise's colour, her natural colour is a light brown, and she had some existing colour through the mid lengths and ends of a very soft copper gold that we wanted to get rid of. So we've neutralised that warmth within the colour that we've used overall. So our global colour was a very rich ash brown. So it's a cool brunette that we've used. And then uh, the colour placement through the front area to emphasise the shape of the haircut, uh, we've used a very beautiful red, copper red tone against a soft caramel tone. Um, so it really brings out the shape of the, the bluntness of the fringe and then the texture at the front. To style Louise's hair today, I've blow dried it on a large rain brush just to give it a little bit of lift and also to create that smooth finish and I've sharpened off the ends with the irons. Carly's here today, I've taken about five inches off the length to create more of a shoulder length shape. I've put in a, a long graduation just to help create volume and fullness. And also I've uh, softly graduated the front area just to frame her face. With Carly's colour, she came in with very long ha uh, hair and she had a lot of existing blonde through the ends, like a pre-lightened blonde. So we used an undercoat colour to actually cover some of that existing blonde that was left. And then we've gone for a very soft seven copper violet, so that's a light brown copper violet, as a global colour to give a really strong image against the shorter haircut. With styling Carly's hair today, I've used Style Boost to help create volume. Uh, I've blow dried it on a large rain brush, also to give plenty of root lift and movement. And I've also used the styling irons just to give it a soft wave, to give more of a tossed look to it. <laughs> 